These are 10 of the absolute hardest shortcuts in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and I'm going to be giving myself 5 hours to complete them all. Each one of these took hundreds of hours to discover, and hitting all 10 is nearly impossible. And as the video goes on, every shortcut is just going to keep getting harder. So let's start with shortcut number 1, which is the Grumble Volcano Turn Skip. Right after you enter the cave, you are actually able to jump the seemingly impossible gap. This jump is nearly pixel perfect and is the easiest out of all 10 shortcuts I have to complete today. And attempt number 1 goes just about as good as I expected. Every single one of these shortcuts could easily take me hours, so I'm not really super confident. Nice, just great. Oh, well, <laughs> there we go, shortcut number one is done. Let's go into shortcut number two, which is on Waluigi Stadium. On Waluigi Stadium, if you take this turn up the slope and mushroom, you're able to fly through the air and actually land at the end of the track. It is extremely precise, and I've only done it a couple of times. So I know it's right here after this ramp section, and I'm not really super confident but let's just give it a nice good attempt here and that went about as well as i assumed but luckily on this track we're able to just turn around this one seems super simple but actually finding the right angle is extremely difficult oh oh no oh my god <laughs> let's go there's no way i got it that fast here let me try this one more time because that was either a fluke or i'm the greatest player alive and yeah it's just <laughs> just that simple I, i'm just the greatest player alive anyways let's move on to the third shortcut shortcut number three was actually discovered by me and is the coconut mall wall clip in order to pull off this trick you need to clip into the wall to the right of the third set of escalators once you're in the wall you want to turn your bike slightly to the right and then use a mushroom while hopping if done all correctly you should launch to the other side of the track and hit this pole hitting this pole is required because if you miss it lakachu will take you back to the other side but if you hit it he will allow you to stay this shortcut took me roughly 50 hours hours to figure out and perfect and i have to hit it within the next 30 minutes in order to stay on pace the hardest part of this one is definitely aiming your bike at the right spot because you're aiming it blind and you still have to hit the pole so it kind of takes a lot of time to just kind of learn where to exactly line up oh my god that one was really close bro okay i actually have to hit this soon or i'm gonna be way off pace dude dude i thought that was the one but after around 25 minutes this happened Oh, there it is. <laughs> There it is, finally. I was able to complete these first three in about an hour and was feeling pretty good. However, things would only get harder and soon luck would not be on my side. Shortcut number four is the Piranha Plant Cove turn skip. During lap two, you can actually cut off this entire turn using a precise turn and water physics. This shortcut looks easy, but is actually extremely difficult. My first couple of attempts were so awful that I actually had to watch a tutorial on how to do it, plus change my character cart combo. And then shrew. Onto, and then hold down on the left stick. Thank you, I appreciate the tutorial, Drybones Cart. I even left a little comment. There you go, buddy. Okay, this isn't helping. Why does it feel like I keep doing the same thing over and over again? Bro, this has to be impossible. There's no way. This isn't working. This is not working. This, unfortunately, didn't really help me, and after numerous not very close attempts and around an hour of my timer wasted, I decided to give up and move on to the next shortcut. But skipping this shortcut didn't mean things were gonna get easier. In fact, this next shortcut was nearly impossible. Shortcut number five is the Chaco Mountain Rock Cliff. Right after gliding out of the cave, turn around and find this rock on the side of the road. For some reason, this rock is very bouncy, and driving into it will launch you in a random direction. However, if you drive into it from a certain angle and also get very, very lucky, you have the chance to fly straight up and clip through the fence above. This skips the entire boulder section and saves a lot of time. This trick is so difficult, it actually wasted two of my three remaining hours. I was doing this for so long that I just started watching poker tournaments while doing attempts. But after literal hours and hundreds of attempts, I was finally able to get the perfect bounce. Oh, oh! Oh my god, finally. I can finally move on to shortcut number six. Shortcut number six is the Electrodome Stadium Glider Glitch. If I thought shortcut number 5 was hard, I clearly had never even attempted shortcut number 6. In order to pull off this frame perfect trick, you want to take the pink path on Electrodome Stadium. On this last turn, you want to use a mushroom before entering the glider ramp and hold your drift. Once you use the glider ramp, you need to use your drift and instantly pause the game. While paused, you want to turn on motion controls and tilt both your motion controls and joystick down and to the left. If you have done all of this perfectly, you should hit the ramp at the bottom and fly over the course to the finish line. This trick is incredible 
incredibly difficult and I had actually never done it before so this was definitely going to be interesting. My first couple of attempts were, well, horrible and I knew that time was ticking down quick and I had to get better fast. After around 40 minutes, I was finally able to get a consistent setup on the shortcut and was getting somewhat decent results. But as I approached the 5 hour mark, I just decided to accept that this was my best attempt. Oh, that's it. That was it, bro. And with only two minutes remaining in the challenge, I still decided to attempt shortcut number seven. Shortcut number seven is the Rainbow Road Ultra Shortcut. The Rainbow Road Ultra Shortcut is easily harder than every single one of these shortcuts combined, but I decided to attempt it anyways. I lined up my cart and prepared for the worst, but something miraculous happened. No, I'm kidding. I lined up my car and realized that the video I showed you is fake and this shortcut doesn't actually work. So yeah, I ended with a 5 out of 10. But if you want to see how to win every single race in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, click the video on screen. And if you're still here, you might as well subscribe.